and I think I was looking at it, and I know you guys have only played a couple of games, but this year's rush defense has been really, at least ranked kind of toward the top of the nation right now. Is that something, or are you seeing something different from this group, at least against the run, or I guess how much, you know, has it changed, if at all, um, kind of in this new scheme? Um, I mean, pretty much, it's, it, it kind of has changed a lot because, I mean, we've gone to a whole different scheme. We're running more uh, gap schemes than man schemes, so it kind of gives us the freedom to, you know, just go rush gaps and not just worry about taking men. So we kind of play more freely, allows us to play with more confidence and just go out there and uh, go after the ball. Just a quick follow-up. You kind of mentioned it there, but, like, what is kind of the difference between a gap scheme versus man scheme, and what kind of freedom does that give you? Well, with the SEC, the offensive linemen, they do a lot of combo blocks, so... Uh, Instead of us going and attacking the guy and have to hold on to him, we're doing more now where we just attack gaps and we uh, we actually avoid the offensive lineman instead of going towards him. So I mean, pretty much it's pretty much kind of easier, but at the same time, it gives us more freedom to go actually uh, go to the ball instead of just worrying about attacking guys and stuff. We'll go to Robbie. Nathan, you and Jaden, I think, had a really good battle in camp for, for reps, and both of you guys are getting in there and making plays. You both have made your fair share of plays in the first couple of games. How, how do you assess how you guys have played early in the first couple of games this year and your impact so far for the interview? Um, we go out there every day. We compete our butts off. I mean, of course, me and Jaden has been knowing each other for a while, so we always have that little personal thing where we make sure that we, we compete and we treat, with each other after uh, every practice. So we go out there and uh, we pretty much just go out there 100%. We do what the coach tells us to do, and we go out there on the field on Saturdays and make plays. Joel? Nathan, as a, as a whole, defensively, uh, all of you guys have been pretty impressive this year up to, up to this point. Just coming into the season, there were some question marks about you guys defensively and stuff with depth questions and some youth and that, things of that nature. But I, I guess from your vantage point, has it been kind of a surprise just exactly how well you guys have done to this point or just kind of your overall impressions? Uh, not at all, not at all. I mean, when we first got here, coming back from all the corona stuff, I mean, I kind of knew that this team was going to be special. And uh, after the first couple of practices at camp, I realized that that we really going to have a chance to do something this year. I mean, the guys were flying around. We were more intense. I mean, we was actually we was actually glad to be out there, glad to go out there and go to work. Because, I mean, as, as a unit, as all, as a defensive unit, we knew that we was going to be pretty good this year. We'll go back to Robbie. You got to see um, – Coach Phelps grill a little bit, but we haven't got a chance to see him on the field and, and how he does with you guys. How would you kind of explain what his style is, his style of coaching? I mean, it's different. It's not the not the generic, you know, ordinary. I mean, he's come he, he come out there and uh, he's not he's not you know always on our yelling and our type of stuff. I mean, he does get on our butt. I tell you that, but at the same time, he. He, he, he's more of calm. He comes, he talks to us, he brings us to the side, and he actually talks to us and tells us, hey, this is what you're doing wrong. This is what you need to do instead of just fussing and doing that type of stuff. And I mean, I, I kind of like that too, because at the same time, I can hear him better talking and he explains it better when he's just talking to me. So it gets the point across better, and I, can, I know what I'm supposed to fix. I know what I'm supposed to do differently, and I go and I fix it, and I just run the play like he's supposed to, like I'm supposed to. We'll go back to Ben. Kind of in that vein, at least. <clears throat> Talking to Coach Arnett, he's, he can be a pretty blunt guy at times. I guess, what's his kind of mood and practice, and how does he kind of, you know, lead this group, at least, you know, teaching-wise or coaching-wise? I mean, he's pretty just right, for, right to it, right to the point, nothing beating around the bush. He's right to the point. We get it done, and we do it the right way. We do it how he's supposed to, how he wants to do it. Tyler? Yeah, Nathan, we talked a little bit about how you guys have been really good against the rush this year, going up against a team that just rushed for over 400 yards in one game. What have you seen from Kentucky, and what's going to be the challenge of containing guys like Terry Wilson and the, the running back they got over there, too? Um, I mean, Kentucky offensive line, has, they have a real physical offensive lineman. It's probably going to be the most physical that we've seen this year. So we just got to come. We just got to come with it. I mean, we got to come with our – Pass low. We got to come firing off the ball. We got to play physical with the boys because if not, they they are the top of offensive linemen that can really show us up if we don't do what we're supposed to do. And then quick follow up to that, I'm get, Wilson is uh, probably clearly the, the best athlete that you guys have faced so far this year at the quarterback position. Uh, you know, what have you in practices? Um, you know, it's, you're not going up against a very mobile quarterback system, so. 
Uh, how prepared do you guys feel to contain someone like Wilson, and, and how do you prepare to, to try to stop a guy like that? Um, we pretty much just do the basics. I mean, we pretty much try to keep him from getting to the outside, and that's that's been that's pretty much. I mean, we know that he can throw the ball. We know that if he get down to get out the pocket, he he can rush and do something with the ball. So we're just focusing on keeping him in the pocket, making sure he's not getting outside. We've got time for one more. We'll go to Robbie. I'm good, Brian. Tyler asked my question. Okay. Thanks, Nathan.